This could be insane. Okay, Marv's got contact. The flash comes in. They want to first stop this, but Marv's doing good for one. He still stands. That's two quick kills, but then Crashy comes over to try and help out. But Marv needs no help. He holds that down all by himself and even picks down he it. He's feeling this game from round one. Okay, again, Sheriff's to work with. And Shadow's got that upgrade, but yeah, you got to swing on this. Oh, 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 oh they're feeling it. Another four. Potentially. Could provide great opportunity, but no, it actually falls away from that. We'll play safe, but confirmation had at least off the back of the flash, and it sets up someone like Yay. Gambit are gonna have problems with this. There's no fear being shown. A good flash though. FNS had no chance in that moment, caught almost on transition. There's now a 4v4 starts to build. Victor's on the back, tucked in towards that cubby side, but Spike's being planted, and they haven't quite cleared this yet. Has he got a chance for the timing? Yes, he does. It is traded, but now keep in mind that quick flank coming in. And it's actually two members now. Again, Marv will be caught upon their line up for him. Nats and Shade off will fall. It's Conical left. Two shock darts. 15 seconds left on that recon, but it's like Envy might just try and smoke and go for it here. Marv. Not even considering the possibility. And yeah, actually, Lawrence Lee's got the shock dart here, Lauren. Oh, this could be it. Gonna have to respect oh. it. 6HP is still alive. I don't know how he's still standing. And Chronicle is playing that time limit as best he can. Yay! What are you going to do with this one? Chronicle ain't going to mess this up. Surely not. Keep those nerves of steel in place. It's going to do it. Yay yeah, gets caught. But let's now a Spectre, a Guardian. Some kind of fallbacks as wait. How's FNS found that? Was that just straight through going around at this point? Someone else dealing with the Seekers, but Shados with a Belter. That's again another step towards potentially leaning towards a site now. They've actually got it down to a 4v4. She will be able to push on through with the snake fight as well so we'll get sight control nothing actually an elbow to deal with and it looks like actually three members of gambit are gonna pick up four yep. in ct friendly oh, not pushing this they're actually on, on site already here fns is so early he went ahead of the divide and he just gets the perfect timing on it as well finding chronicle as he tried to fade away back towards octagon Shadoff now shade off is huge. he does have a flash on this one there it goes straight through gets the pop where's the quick push there it is Aggression down towards that b side but it is we nats now I, I thought it was isolated, but comes down towards Victor like a guillotine. Just head now removed. But Marv's been pushed up here a little deeper. It looks like Nats is on red alert. He's like, that seemed really weird. Where's the second? There's the second. He finds it. Huge impact from Nats. Hope for a slip up. There There's it is. One. <laughs> the patience they show. Two members of Envy committed Five to that planted. short push. The bin. I, I, I still think they're okay. They have the protocols in place. Hey, bounded right round towards this. So again, he's there with Marv. They're not sitting back on this Marv. So clean on that check. They have red Nats. Two playing over by try box but there's the dash in towards the side we are down to about 12 seconds so anything that denies the spike plant is going to be denying the round essentially at this point yeah he's well aware of the pressure coming on in red guards have gone down spike crashies down. was so prepared for this spraying in wildly denying the spike plant once again time it's gone they've run out of it it doesn't matter boys you've made a bit of a fumble on this one yeah i think fumble is the key word to clear this and hope left. nothing goes wrong bear in mind there's still a flash that i know that's on victor at the moment shados does do really well though they still know there is going to be this guy here now the seekers come out he's in so much trouble but hold down mouse one still denies a bit of time but the rotations they're a little what? fns just spikes absolutely down. barrels into this spikes on route towards the site though and can anything stop at this fight and already there's problems eight seconds shados loses the spike and loses his life crashies does well four seconds on the plot there Finesse. The positioning was primed, and now Chronicle, you got to watch again as another round slips through your fingertips. If you don't care. Stack here, Marv sitting to the right side of this wall, and actually, don't fucking swing through. Oh, Shados. Wait, what? As if he's the one to get it, but they don't account for Marv. You have to, Shados. Apparently, that op looks good in your hands. But Victor then fills that gap, seconds, and they're yeah. always in the right place. The rotations are on route as well. Victor's actually going to aggress on that. That's madness. <laughs> Redgar will punish that sort of behavior. As now we're down to crashes and yay. One rifle has come on through with Redgar and it's well placed once again. The double Spike stack was down. Crashies just slipped through time. Oh no, crashes, he's feeling this. He's read this so well. That's one. Can he get it? No, Lats! He's found the kill. How's he done that? Down to the wire. Spike plant, you still have you on the site. They can pull and push between each other. No, the thing is, every time they gambit <laughs> leads towards that. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Chronicle. <laughs> Alt gets popped. Again, not much being found for this. Spike going in. They don't really have much of a say in the matter. Mark, how have you got that on Shados? The wild spray towards Nats will not find its intended target. And Nats is still dominating into Azuka. He's got his ult now just ticking away. Yay on the other side. Spike is down. So again, time is so yeah, favorable, and careful. Nats has just denied this entire slice. But look at that flank coming look around. Redgar. Redgar is in such a dirty spot. Nats is walking this. See it? <laughs> this is still the contingency plan. 
Chronicle has fallen, but Nat still stands. And yeah, FNS may consider it, but he still has to deal with it. And now the mad flank from Redcar. What the what? hell did Jay just do? Come hell or high water, he's still a problem. And crashes. It the plane from sight itself, and one towards kind of elbow, just waiting to see if it's there. TP comes in early. It's a double take as well. Defo's going to find Victor. But will he predict FNS? They've got to know he's lingering around. But Redcar finding Ye on the side is huge. Now, yes, there'll be an answer, but it's Marth with two, but it's all favorable trades towards Gambit. Again, in the last round, we <laughs> flipped the other knees. Our MV are able to achieve the same thing they did on defense, which is dictating the pace. Gambit, again, we know they're going to sit deep. Defo actually will be giving FNS on a platter behind the Aldrone to start things off. And yeah, now, actually, we get to counterbalance that, actually, with two other members pushing up. Long here, actually, if Yang finds this, it could be the entry. It could be, but Chronicles caught off Crashy, so actually there's still a lot of favoured Gambit in this round. No, now they know this player's coming up. Look, Vic! What? Okay. Shados, you're a lucky boy to keep your life, and Ye's in trouble. He's been taken out of it for standing Gambit! Ow. This is interesting. On the back of the recon, down short, and the flash on long, they get confirmation on both sides, Lauren. Yeah, Chronicle and Defo will be the two here, but Ye's found success. Now that's going to maybe cause a couple of issues for Envy if they wanted to lean the other side. Chronicle pushes in, Perfectly isolates timed. Victor. The timing could not have been better to make it back to a 4v4, and Defo just slips himself towards left. the side, tries to be amongst them, and he is! FNS completely unaware as Chronicle now comes back. Envy are pinched in this one. Oh! What? Defo! Down a. You're insane right now! Ye and Crash is going to have to do some big work, and look, it is those no two. No way. But Nats, the timing on this is unbearable. They're like, oh, you're going to try and play late in a round, are you? You're going to go for a late left. plant, remember? How we kept being denied remaining. these spike plants? Yeah, enjoy Five it. Five a. seconds left, and Crashies has to clutch out a 1v2, and he knows Five that chance has gone from him now. Having to accept the fate as Gambit will make it to eight, and then closing in towards double digits with a prime gaming flawless in this one. <laughs> Chronicle and Defo just running rings around Envy as they try and creep up towards a site. Again, the counter piece is perfectly top. Well, there's something for Crashies too. Coming in with the ult here if he needs it. Yeah, he's already found Chronicles. So that's a huge pickup, especially on that A site. We've seen how impactful Chronicles been. Defo. He's actually going to work forward in this. Now, FNS has been here time and time again, but he's quicker on the trigger and he finds Defo. It's now a two-player advantage and everything, I guess, traditionally on that A site has now been unraveled, but Shados finds Marved in no man's land. Now, that's a little weird, but we're going to have the Seekers popped for that attacking side. One to confirm where these problems are going to start coming from. Now they know there's two coming from this side. FNS now just puts down the utility, buys a bit of time. And then that slightly unknown element, not to the fullest extent, is Redgar working his way back in as well. Crash is just going to play on oh bench dear. here. Oh, yeah, he actually will get a sightline, but Shadows finds it. I absolutely love it. Just waiting for that to dissipate, and then the sightlines work oh, out. Well, but Victor! Oh, the high pop flash too. Red guards blind. <laughs> the triple B comes in. Envy answer. Ooh, there's that off. We're looking to see when that might come in. Crashies has been insanely good. This is perfect from Gambit, but they won't find it off it. And Envy will creep through. It's fine left. time at least for Chronicle to come over this side, and he has his ult. So that's now going to be a key piece for this to buy a little bit more time. Maybe Nats is off angle now, gets a bit more play. It does. In perfect synergy, these boys just find the timing whenever needed. But a dive towards the side from Ye. Quick response from him, but Red Girl on the trade. Crashies now going to suffer, but 13 seconds. They're away. He's going to make a mad dash for it. They just want to get towards that B side, leave FNS over here for a second more. Longer. But now speaking of seconds, we're down to five. Plant comes through and Envy going to just try and flip it on a dime. The retake now has to adjust all the way over. And it gives Ye a way better position to hold this. He misses the shot. And Defo will at least catch him in the leg. But 43 HP is more than enough right now. What do they have to work with in this post plant? Because Defo is closing right back on in. There's still one on the side. That's Marv. Quick trade out. It's down to a 2v2. Off still out. But it's Defo finding FNS. But Ye. Oh, he's got Swan on Gambit. Going to make it to double digits. And what a way to... Nothing left. No. Here we go. Defo going to make it hurt. Just add insult to injury as Jesus right there too. Oh, the Aldro, he did. I don't think he had to do it. The pop flush was perfect, but Crashies could not care less. But there's Nats in the little cubby, and nobody puts Nats in the corner because look at him. Three cook kills and the rifles, everything, every small margin that Envy wanted to use. Oh, and God. Redcar's got a judge. He's in the yeah. It's really quite good in this position. Flashed up, still blind. Can't use it. Second to follow. Didn't catch him. Redcar's fine, but actually, somehow, Victor still wins the fight. So now they've got at least the stepping blocks towards the side that they want. Nats is still here though, and he can be such a nuisance, such a problem, such a time buyer as well. TP now taken, no but way. that spike.
Keep that in mind. Incredible was in this form, but Crash, he's predicted it. So many weird things going down, but Nats is still here, and that's what I want to keep in mind. He was still lingering around a little while longer, but Defo's on the other side. Do they even think he's here? No! <laughs> Crash is none the wiser. Seconds left. And confirmation will be soon. Two players creeping up. Nats, does he see it first? Yes, but he misses. Yay, brings hope towards Envy, as now the site will be there. Spike en route. They will be planted. Defo, what can you do with this? Spike planted. Not impossible. But certainly not easy. Could he catch him on the way out? No. They're both going to be sat towards that long side. Maybe a longer rotation for Marv to get towards Hooker. As Ye will be controlling this. Just that. This is perfect. <laughs> Defo touches the spike, looks towards Hooker. Sees nothing yet. The timing's not there. Marv will finally make his appearance. He knows where Ye is. But now he's had to use both of his folks. But what? That shot was so quick. I thought there was a chance for it. But Marv. But it's a bit available for FNS, but Defo actually goes walking here. Yeah, he's ready for it. Don't walk up on Ye, man. He's starting to come alive and he needs that fire. They need a little bit of something to light a fire under Envy oh, right now. Shados just gets pinned into the shower. And that's... Yeah, timing's not good enough for that. Mars was waiting for this. And Redgar and Chronicle. A near on impossible scenario. I'm curious how the money's looking for Gambit now. Because these rounds have been... Hoping Gambit can... Uh, at least was all back to where... That's the goal right now. Look at the amount of vision they have to work with. Yay, that barrel's walking now. pretty big. Ride. Oh my god, the timing is perfect. Okay, Defo's still here, but he's living Spike planted. on borrowed time in this position. Because you can see that Envy have taken the space and they've taken the site. Spike is down and taking Crashies and Victor sitting towards Hooker. That's slowly clearing on the back lines, but... <laughs> This isn't going to be a clean fight. The timing's going to be everything. Maybe he can unlock it, but again, this can come down to the wire here. Let's see what Nats can do on this. Oh, the timing. Nats, he does not know what he's up against. Crash, he's just got red guard. This has to now speed up the hit from Nats. He's got to make his impression known. One, two, three. The third doesn't need it. Shadows is right there. And now it all swings down to FNS in a 1v3. He's got the time on his side, but the shots ain't landing. He's near Defo is just buying time. Nats is on the defuse. And somehow they work it out. 12 on the board. If they go for the Shados backside, Nats, I think, just on that cast P is. That spike now noted. Rotations are going to be coming in right now. The bailout's going to come through. Nats is just trying to stay alive. Be more of a problem, be a nuisance. Jay still stands. But where is that spike going? Going back around towards long. They don't want to get past Nats, but Shados has fallen the site. So there is some part of an avenue. TP taken for two, now three. Spikes on the way towards A. They can't hear it because of the cosmic divide. Look at this. Gambit are actually six. staying They're behind no this idea. on B. And Marv is selling this. He's selling it like a champ, but he can just punish any rotation. Yeah, and one might slip through the net, but Marv. Oh, bullet to the back. But if anything, this is going to keep them here longer. Exactly. Now they know the plant comes through. Seeker's invested by Victor. Again, going to confirm exactly what they believe to be true. Everybody stacked up in towards spawn here. No flank coming through from Gambit. They have to fight through pipes. It is still a 4v3, so some favorable trades could really work out well for Gambit here. But timing and Ye, <gasps> that positioning, the timing on this one. He's trying to create a path forward. Ye turns the attention, but now he's got heaven to worry about. He's got Victor by his side. Victor's got death over. There's still three players. A 3v3 now. Redgar through the box. And now two. Victor's still alive. And so is Crash. He's fighting with everything they have. The Chronicle's on the spike. And I don't know if they can get there in time. He's sitting this one. It's down to... Oh, my God! He got it. He didn't get the defuse. Confirmation from Defo. They're still lingering around. They want to kill. They, they, they're literally desperate for a kill. Right get Defo, it. it. You're not I getting it on Defo right now. It's Red Car found crashies. Hold on. It's a 4v3. This buy was absolutely garbage from Gambit. Trail. They're still making it work. And there are those seekers coming down, at least from the attacking side. So Shados now going to be noted. FNS wants to close that gap. No. He's slipping CT. But can the rest of Envy stay alive? That's a bigger thing. There's a TP. And now, look at FNS. He can lock these players in. They have no idea he's got around to this spot. This is going to be down for success. FNS slicing through them. It could not have been better. Envy somehow turning this back around. Yeah, still a tricky angle. Clear. Not going to happen. FNS, you're a hero. Crashes could have slipped back towards CT or sat deeper, but they have now three, four on the site. But Envy and Crash is just watching as one dash is on top of the How has he found that? Infinus has fallen, Ye still stand there, so it's Victor, but over for so long! Gambit have just butchered Envy! And Mars called upon in the final moments here of this first round of OT. Not gonna happen, Shados! Sorry. A living in? <laughs> okay. Alright. Fair enough. As Nats goes down, Crashies with a pivotal first pick. Here. It's huge, actually. Ye pinging out the possibility somebody's walking this smoke, but FNS does he drift in? Redcar's gonna back away. 
Do not walk that. Do not walk that. Oh. Oh. Dead fool. Toxins going up. Well. I think now we can say two uncharacteristic rounds from Gambit. Yeah, Wait and see weird. what happens, but it's got a little weird, yeah. It's gotten weird. And Envy will love that. What a great start to That's what they look for the picks. entire time when they're they attacking never given it. Yeah. They never oh, got given God. that. They had to fight so hard for any of these sight hits, but now... Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. No, fight us whenever, dude. That's great. No, Evanes, though, pinged out, is going to be revealed and punished. Now, with Chronicle Steel here, oh, he's been having a belting game. 30 yeah. seconds, a spike yet to fully commit to the spike. They have to clear Chronicle and they do. Left. Yay, sharp. Shados, now considered as well, been revealed, hiding away. Defo's on route, but it may be a little yeah, late now, as it's going to be just down to Defo and Envy. Somehow, find the perfect Mike beginning. Even effectively, well. Really forced away, but there is another player in here, so don't. Oh my god! Up. Excuse me, Defo! He just dashes in, Victor, so sharp though, finds a quick reply. And now a 1 for 1 trade out, but they know the intention. Victor now not necessarily panicked, but trying to pour that utility into buy Look time for Crashies to get over here, but you're right, it's the backfill, and it's still a fight for Nats and Chronicle! They just made Envy look like putty in their hands as FNS are mobbed. Well, they were on the other side. And again, this pace change has been very uncharacteristic. It's got them a reward. <laughs> I know how scary it is when it's a gambit to switch of gear. But Marv having to go through this now on 1v4. But if Gambit do the similar thing on the other side, there'll be opportunities that Envy will lap up as Chronicle. Okay, but the pinch point. is beautiful from Gambit yeah, as well. Yeah, push up long, they were like, in sight. Straight away, because I think actually they identify that, that it's only going to be one, unless, you know, for some crazy reason it's a pistol round sale. Gambit, if they keep playing into this, now that's mm -hmm. a different stop though. Yay being picked up here by Defo is very, very different. Michael just holding that, that pixel angle, but... Cross, actually, Marv will get found. Okay, this is now where problems begin, but Crashies is still alive. Chronicle! For so long! Bye, Chronicle's yeah. not letting anyone cross! He's still trying to fight fully blind! But now NVF2, and they at least have the step towards the side, but look how quickly Gambit are on the case. One CT, two towards Hooker. And FLS is just dedicated towards that TT fight, he loses. Victor now in a 1v3, this could be map one going towards Gambit. The flash confirms attendance. Victor, what can you do with this one? Tries to turn the flash, he's still just fine, but Shados, he's not giving him anything. You know that Envy want to clear CT, but he's just not going to let it happen. And Victor knows he's going to have to fight tooth and nail for a single pick in this Gambit turtle up. They let nothing go astray in 20 seconds now, Victor, 34 HP. And it's done. Shados Lee. We're going to do the set piece on short with Nats. So, so this here is concerned. Envy need to be back to aggression. Good start. Yay. Perfect example. We're going to find Rickard. Yeah, I actually love how Envy play this map personally. I think well. uh, you can see it here. And that's a great example. Thanks, Envy. You make it look real good. Uh, Shados and Defo. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with this one. That spike's not really committed anywhere just yet either. It looks like he's going to go for that ceiling eventually. And yes, Shados has been able to put himself in a decent enough spot. But yeah, they'll jump, jump peeking. Not going to let it happen. Just those right clicks. Got to keep the movement pretty critical. And there it is. Yeah, the end. Envy with a belt. Maybe there is method to the madness. Uh, maybe Redgar's going to hit a couple of nice shots. Could help. Now keep in mind the push is back here from Envy. Isn't, you know. Got him. The best thing in the world is still going to be missing some odds and ends. So there's still potential here. And as Chronicles just killed Yay. It's 4v3. What can they doing? They're literally just death balling. Three members here. Marv. Gotta be aware of actually the counter too, yeah. He's low. Away from that. He has to respect it because he's the only one with any sort of semblance of a rifle, be it a bulldog or not. And FNS down to 40 as well. This is huge. Uh, this has become really possible now. Crash is trying to get him. Oh god, Crash is dead. Um. I guess if it works, it works. However, they still need to get past FNS and Mark. Flash comes in, they were waiting for that to come through. Still a bit of utility the Mark can utilize, but Shadows actually thread the needle. I think he's a little further ahead than Marv expected. And now Red Guy into a 1v1. He's got 2 HP. No way it's gonna happen. Yeah, maybe just weird as a word counter. Also very enjoyable. And Red Guard just being punished so quickly. Victor, way too sharp for that. FNS doing what he does best. Threading that needle. He will be in the most annoying position to deal with. As he's slowly creeping up, way ahead of expectation, but Defo still checks it with good intent. So now one for one trade out. 
Spike is now leaning towards that A side, but again, it is Nats here. And he's quite the player, quite good at this. Well, that's quite an deep ahead of where Chronicle right may expect. It's still a great peak. Still clears it just fine. <laughs> the camera awaits. Ah, it's been caught off. Okay, so Nats now has to depend a little on the rifle in his hand. They found my wire. How much more can he get out of this? Apparently he doesn't need to. Chronicle's there with him. And now Marv presented a 1v4. This is just so out of the ordinary. Nats drops down. Take Two members to defend. Chronicle has to swing in mid here and Ye will be gifted an entry. <laughs> and Marv's found one too. Of course. Of course, the Marshals often win out against the rifles. In anyone's hands. Uh, quite the heavy investment. Of course, once again, sarcasm coming. In droves at this point, Nats is, however, post up on long, so... Oh! Okay. Yeah, right click saying work it now. Yeah. Okay, and the ult comes through. He's going to be challenged on long, though. He's got to be careful on this if they decide to swing through, but they want to push towards CT. He's found the spike. Now, there's a player on the other side, that being marved. Quite tricky to clear this, though, with that marshal. One enemy okay, remaining. Catch crashes as well. Nats oh, will find his third. Nats was actually towards run. this in that prior round. Ult comes in. And the reply from Brim. So it's a lovely denial of this, but there is also a walk up towards B, and that's where the spike is, so he has to pick his on A long, but keep your eyes on B and keep your eyes on Nat. How much is... He knows they're holding the angle, he still tries to swing it. Crashy's just better right now. And a pop flash for Shados turns in perfectly, but he can't double down. Mars with an excellent trade, keeping such numbers favorable towards Envy here. Defo, yeah, he's been noted. Red like a cook. And Marv, what a way we see all the ults being worked through, but do you expect Red Guard walking mid? I don't know, 29 HP, and chased down by FNS trying to close that gap, but Defo with a big punish on the top side of B, even predicts what? that Ye would be trying to overbeat near that headshot angle, but Ye's still better, but Nats, I mean, they thought there could be a chance. Did he spot Ye then? I don't know if he did. The timing is going to be interesting. But keep in mind that Crashies is still watching this. Crashies is super aware that that was left open. There was a little bit of a window of opportunity, but now Chronicle fancies a go. Well, that's tried his best. I'll see if I can do one better. And Shados towards CT with a jumping up shot towards Marved. Yeah, now all on Chronicle. Try and find something. Spike will be planted. Right? Again, Envy want to try and keep three up here. Enemy Not going to happen though. Chronicle will find one on the way in. Okay, with the counter beat, so... Let's see the heal will come through from Victor. That's okay. Let's see. Seekers will be invested here on the side of Gambit. Crashes plant. Uh, Nats gets a headshot, but no follow-up here. What? Where is the Bart? Hello? Hello? What? How has Chronicle just got three kills as well? HP. This could be incredibly smart. Chronicle's if you can get this pick... Well. Oh, I did. That's not the time for it. Ten seconds left. Five more seconds, One or just remaining. a bullet. Chronicle, cresting the corner, a little surprised at that. I thought he was going to just play Five towards CT. Flash comes in, doesn't catch Nats. That's a huge information gathering moment that just went astray. Victor's flash not. Hop early of the ult, crashies. Not getting too much, and a counter roll as well towards Zilong, but they're already up. They're already in the face with Chronicle. He's there. He's done one in a second. The Chronicle! What an animal for Gambit right now, leaving oh, Envy in tatters. As what are you meant to do with this one? Crashy's trying to do something, find an isolated player towards Garage, <laughs> but the net's closing in and Red Guard's got him. Chronicle. What well, it needs, but a walk up middle three players. <gasps> Mark? Mark just got punished so badly. Red Guard, oh my word, the bait and switch. Chronicle is right by his side, but Crashy's! Somehow brings us back to a 3v3. I thought there was no way. But Nats is right there, and FNS just has to hold his nerve. Get that spike down, do what he can for the side. Caught in the heels, and now Nats is going to close that gap. Yay yeah, knows pressure is coming. Nats now swings it. Yay yeah, denies it. And a 1v2. Ult's come online. The flash still knows. He's in towards no the shot, but he finds Defo. He's gone again. Oh, yay! He switched to the other side. What does Shados do? No flash, no nothing. It's just the gun at his side right now, and yay is going to fight. He's made a miss! He's made a fumble! But he's still got a chance at this! He's trying to buy the time! Yay! No way! Look about replicating the success, right? And how sustainable it is. Can we do that every round? I mean, Gambit are also pushing the extremity, so let's... I'll come over here. Now, there is a big problem at the back of the side, but Ye's got the timing just right, but Ye spots another. Now, Defo has to respect it too, because Ye is on a tear right now. Seekers go down and they confirm. The site is ours. We're okay for now. Maybe that flank getting them a little bit worried after a while, after... 
meeting two players pushing up C long, but we're in the post plant. Sands and be in good positions. An awful lot here to fight back in with the battle down bit, but the Empress will be popped to clash through. Aaliyah to kind of layer that blind as well. They're just feeling out these positions. They know one's graffiti, they know one's hell, Beautiful. but they can't break it down. This is such a strong boss fire until then. Shados and Defo hold on, a 1v2 knock. Pushing them to their absolute limit on the back of Cherif. Yep. And pushing mid, walking sewers. It, it's so weird and at this point. <laughs> okay. Why did we get that one in the highlights? And actually, after Shadows did so well to find run, different here. Uh, this literally looks like a pug. Gam Gambit yes. literally just playing strat roulette. And two sometimes two. it cool. works. That's the thing, it's just throw it at the wall and stays taken. Safe plant should be coming in. Red Guard can't really deny that. Spike planted. And Marv sitting deep towards window. Actually, the, the Leer is perfect timing. It just makes Marv consider somebody's push in here. Crashes will find Shadows elsewhere, but Marv now needs to find one of them and it will be Defo first. The second comes for free. In front of B and actually back it's towards Link, but look at the bodies coming through. What? And Nats has caught the flank. Of course he has. Perfection. Now, there is a great trade, though. Crashy still does well to find that and cleanly. Keeps play himself play. at 100 HP, but now receives a little parting gift of a tag there. Down to 54, and now the numbers are starting to look almost insurmountable as Marv presented a 1v3 Redgar on the long way around as well and the crossfire uh, excuse me Marv that's one and that's sharp 58 HP still stands one left one right can't get deaf ever does maybe Gambit can do something to surprise us all so early in the second half look Redgar gonna be in problems now but I wonder how she can hit this two point <gasps> excuse me Death or Chaos find a yes and a bit of a it's not perfect but it's a good enough trade He's kept this round in check because that was about to fall away, but it's only two. A 2v3 post plant, two rifles recovered. Take flight. This is unthinkable, unimaginable. Yeah, he's drifting towards long as well. There's a trap wire there, so they will know about this flank if it comes through. At least Nats is close enough to find or hear the sound cue, but Nats they will deal it. with it anyway. Nats and Cubby now. He's got to dig him out. He's not gonna. Him. Nats, he's just off the leash. Gambit, how are you doing this? This is 8-7. I'm all... <laughs> okay, here it comes. Op still in hand, though. And Red Guard's going to start working forward. He's got support here. He's not alone. But FNS, really good way to levy the pressure coming up. But good trade again for Nats. But the players are in the right place. It's a 2v3. Shados is low. And Marv has been just so good backside. Oh, got him under though. position. They're going to know enemy where enemy. he is. There's now just one. But it is Chronicle. It's Crashies. We'll find it. Envy. Oh, but Red Cup. Look at that mid swing. And Yay. Instantly challenged by Nats, but he outdoes him. That's the Yay you want to be seeing if you're an Envy fan. Now, a couple of tags do come through. The flash goes in. Red Guard a little lower, but he's taken himself all towards B. And this is backside. Comfy catch, and he'll take that every day of the week. As Gambit are hitting the pace, the C piece, but they are down to three players. They need that plant. And Defo's got the up here, keep in mind. He's going to switch up to it. He's in a position potentially to find one over the top of this smoke. But he actually does smoke. Yeah, he will find it. Crashes will fall. Chronicle oh, finds another as well. Okay, good trade for Victor. But Shados was right there. Ten seconds for his next flash, too. He'll have one to post it if they feel that pressure coming in. Seeker comes down. And they adjust towards long. It's been noted, though. They know what's going on here. And Shados just eats that. Defo finding Ye on the fallback for the defuse. It's coming in. They can't see it. FNS just holds it down. And there it is. Envy. Get it to double digits. See that in the kill for you. That's what's happened. But it is that Red guard's on the Red guard's walked it. He's Whoa, 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 and yay, repeeks. He repeeks on that. Defo's just out, Victor. I don't know what is going on. I truly don't know. This is great from Gambit, but it's so oh, out exactly there. Right. And Marv now in a 1v5. He's going to, yeah, he finds Shados, but now position noted. Everything's, yo, tickety boo. Spike gets collected. It's over towards A. That's safe with Nats. He's not going to let it slip. It's chronic on your way there. That lid follow up now. Good bit of damage done on route, but he's only got a classic. So the site is there. Spike can go down pretty much unscathed. It will be a challenge for Shados. Just puts him to bed. Three members left for MV. Yeah, actually, Victor going through mid, considering potentially flank of a Nat is already going to outflank the flank. I'm a deep into spawn now, and it becomes that safety net if they get weird again. But crashes will fall now. And all but see, Victor will find one, but solo HP now. One enemy remaining. It's the team that looked like so good against like Sentinels. Yay! Yeah, still good. Excuse me, yay!
got his ult, but it is against big boy Nat, and yeah, he's gonna get that to halfway, you know it is. Now Nat, what are you gonna do about this though? Okay, that's the plan. Okay, forces him off, and the spam comes in, he goes right back out. Oh, wait. Yay, yay, what can he do? The right click, Nat, he's just doing the What am I he watching? Gets the flag! What am I watching? He's got the defuse, Lauren. Yay! Has just <laughs> come down and confirmed it. There goes the ult as well. Depo's claimed yay, but Victor still stands. Now Crashies gets revealed here. Victor just sprays away because the Liz come out. Nat doubles down and it finds Victor. Spike goes in, they find Crashies. It's a clean sight take. The answer back in kind. Oh yeah. After that round victory from MV, it'll be an opportunity to reset the economy. They will at you. And Seekers ready on this corner. Now he waits, first charge red guard, loses it, and now Crashies has to fall off this. There is a lean from Ye, he's come on over to try and help him out a little bit here, because there's pressure, but they haven't only committed! Defo! Defo! Oh Where my has god! this man been the entire time? Defo is looking real nasty right now. Crashies pushes up, tries to get something back, it's only a 1-4 and trade, it ain't enough. And look at Nats on the flank, it's all perfect, this is going to be 12 on the board! F and S! What can you do? This Nothing! 12 for Gambit! Well, there was never a moment anyone would have said, yeah, Gambit, love a bit of this map. Big one for him. No way, compared to Envy? Uh, this is this is literally choreographed chaos. Like, down to a... Final buy, they're coming in with here, potentially on map two. We go again, and Gambit just roll in towards C. It's theirs as well. Completely clean. Execution doesn't look bad, but ain't no one to challenge it. It's all down to a retake. The purchase, a little light for FNS, but he's got his ult. Victor, got his ult. Crashies, ult. They've got so much to play with here. So many components here. The lockdown going to be the first one. Defo. Really can't see that. He will find... Cra what? How? This has fallen. How has this happened? And now Redcar pushes CT. FNS and Ye are just out of their minds with no idea what to do. FNS fights back with Ye. It's a 2v3, but numbers still so favorable. How do they find that final hurdle? How do they get even on the spike? Ye did the unimaginable before, but it's going to be FNS to find Shade off trade for Nats. And now it's just down to FNS in a 1v2. Nats claim the frags, crashes, and Ye. Purely punished, as FNS is put in a 1v3. We're um, in already. Momentum is really stopping, because look at what Gambit are doing. They're just stacking up mad trades, as Nats doubles down. And still utility put down. Not going to be lazy about it, but he's been noted, he's been seen, he's been caught. And Gambit carry on as they left off of expectation. Oh, Defo gonna be the first one forward. Ye's on the side, good angle to play with. I don't know how they're gonna get around this. It's maybe the Seekers and uh, Defo just ignoring him right now. No one can close that gap. Marv keeps him at arm's length. Finally one gets close and that still stands. There was two players found, three stay alive. Two players working their way up. And the exchange comes from middle. Looks like Envy wants back. A little bit of the territory here, good shot from Defo. But well shut down by Crashies. Mid is now theirs. Now Gambit have continued to make progress though on this side. We saw that earlier. Able to counterbalance this perfectly. Now Nats will go hunting towards ropes. Crashies gotta be nowhere of any he absolutely is. Yeah, he's locked on. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like he knew that the entire time. And obviously just good consideration, but removing Mar that for heaven. That's where we see obviously on this utility. Oh, Rest of Envy gonna address that though. Yeah, the timing's great. Here. Chronicle can't standing. get it. Crashies finds him. Now, timing is of the essence, and Redgar's got a dirty angle to play with! Oh, I thought the second was going to come through, but not... Almost an anticipation of a bit of aggression, but Marv will find Defo on the back of that Cosmic Divide going up. Oh, shit. Sorry, FNS, I think, just got the alarm bell ringing. Yeah, what? he just gets absolutely swung on by Nat. FNS back line, good for one. The second not going to happen for him. Chronicle on the trade out. Oh, comes up, and now the spike should be able to be planted. Seekers... Not quite up yet for Victor, can't quite clear out, but he can get the heal going for himself as well, trying to get everyone back situated if required. He's going to lead the way. Double flash can be back up in four seconds, so he'll have a second to work with if he wants to lead this in the 3v3 post pop. The Nats and Conquer are getting healed up as well now, that's huge. Shader will maintain B main control, but Marv finds Nats. Okay, the flash to the back of the side, just to double check, I'm really happy to see that. Chronicle, what can you do with this? So there's the divide coming in. He's now going to be on an island. Gets a fade away on Victor. Pops down to utility. Shados has gone close though. He's closed the gap already. Fighting crashes. Now the 1v1. Shados is working with so little information. It's oh all my God. that. Shados. We're more to come. Through. Yay. Push. Way deeper. Red goal. What? You're going to that and beat Yay? All right. All right.
I don't understand what is going on. Crashes with a huge denial. Now he focuses towards the other side, but out done a little by Depo on the time. Now we wait for the cross. Does FNS get what he needs? Oh, the time is good. Reed sees the barrel. He knows he's in trouble. And actually, Red goes out with time as well. I don't understand it. Victor does so well to trade back in to bring this into a 1v2. Redgar's HP is a problem. It's 47, and Victor's eyes are trained on that. Gambit as their economy is a little rough around the edges, and yay. He's walking it. Yeah, big man's on it, but it's a big trade. Redgar, still not going to let him get momentum off the back, or at least fall away. He's going to punish that pick and now get it to a 4v4. Opposite oh, numbers yeah. though, and Nats will find crashes. That will bring the five spit away. Marv, actually, wise to the fact he could have crept up behind it. Position to clear though. Uh, Not so hard. I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like Shadows didn't even yeah. really think there was a player there. He was like, <laughs> rotations if he'd found that first pick, but that's not. Looking through screens as Victor working his way back through spawn. Particle waiting, and he's happy to greet him. So FNS takes that first step. Very tentative on approach, but this is going to be potentially hard. That definitely will be. Because now they know where he is. And the spike is planted very nicely for Gambit. This looks like a bit of a sewn up round. Finesse does. On the side of Gambit, he will find the first. That's all cool. Finesse now sees it. He knows what's coming his way as well. Victor has to play close on site. Yay! Feeling that fire starting to burn. Flash comes in. It's a good flash too. Finesse will lap it up. Two big kills with Victor to follow. Spike Leaving Depo. Depo, who was on that flank. What? Excuse me, seven seconds though. Time. Surely not. It's a 1v3. There's no way he's going to be given even any more opportunities. He's done what he can. He made a bit of impact. But the round is all but over. But that's about it. Yeah, it looks. One dimensional is the wrong word, but it looks very uh, <laughs> direct in approach. Um, but that's just the victory. Marv is now getting traded out on. It's not looking so clean. I've got your this is looking it. so messy. And now we're going to have the Seekers go out so they know how much time they have to maybe get this spike plant, get into trickier post farm positions. And now from Five heaven, two it. come through. Yay and FNS. There it is. Catch them on the way out. That's massive. But the flank. Look at the likes of Shados. This now, when disgusting. does he pull the trigger? It's now. He gets presented the perfect opportunity as FNS put in a dire scenario. Gambit do it again. They do the unconfidence sign to build up. And Gambit are right back in there, breaking them down. I, I mean, Gambit just kind of three two. We need Ye here. And Ye's gone. I know. Nats is going to walk his way through. Gambit are just powering their way in towards the site. And they've got everything set up for this. It's everything they wanted as well. A couple of players are up towards ramp though, but Chronicle seems all but too aware. Spots the first on the way back through, expects a second. He can't control it well enough towards Crashies, but it's only going to be Crashies for a split second. And we're back in now. And we will stack up everybody committed right now. That's it. Gravity well. Good start. She will get countered. Yay will find an opener here, and Chronicle will have to give this up. I love this team. coming through though. But they're going to yeah. be aggressive. Yeah, I like that. I like that Ye was willing to put himself on the line a little here, try and get a little bit more information, control that deeper CT side. And there's three of them stacked on this. Ye loses the first fight. Defo now. This isn't as clean as I wanted. This is two players now trying to deal with one. Where's the rest of this hit? Nats just got marved. FNS, Victor, and Crashes. What's going on here? Victor, back of side. Big flash. Oh, he walks into Nats. Shados is there. And now a 1v2. And the spike gets tapped. They know they're going to be sitting this now. Crashes has to close that gap. It's gone halfway. Nats sees him. Defo gets off the spike. Crashes on the jump peak. He's going to fall his way around. Defo has to hold his breath and try and wait it out. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's down to the wire, but Defo's going to get it defused. And, uh, envy. Rounds for Envy as well, because again... Got to convert this here. Just the bonus against you. Gambit getting a little looser with it. Happy to push up, take risks. But the reward's not there to follow. Victor with a good opener towards that B site. Spike's not collected yet, though. So that's going to be FNS's duty. And if Chronicle hears this, he should be dealt with by Crashies. Maybe not. Oh, dear. That's a problem. A couple of issues starting to rear. But the spike will be planted. And we have to see this post plant. Spike planted. here. We'll come through Defo again though. Envy drifting deeper and deeper here, trying to get aggressive. Victor will take a tag, but we'll back away, leave Ye posted. But two players now accounted for in spawn. Uh, good collection from Marv. It's the flash, but we'll fall away from the angle cleanly enough. He's getting closed in on the flash. He has to turn it, respects it, but the trade comes out. The numbers heavily favoured now. Towards Envy, three of them standing. They want to keep this as clean as they can, keep as many rifles up. When they swing together, they start walking. There's one pack. That's at the back of the site, though. 
Spike has seen He sees everything, and now he's going to find oh everything off the back of Chronicle. They've set them up for success. It was a trap laying in wait, and now Seekers get popped to try and levy this out, give them a way back through here, because now they've got problems. FNS, though, great positioning. They crunch towards heaven. There's the aggressive envy we need to see. There's the team to take the fight. The flash not going to go deep enough. FNS just jiggling on the corner. Some whiffs of the flashes. It ain't good enough. Red car now presented a 1v3. He's going to get one for 30 HP. On the left side of your screen. Envy effectively tapped out. Does Defro swing ahead of this? Oh, he does. He no way. He's going to find Yay too. That's a huge scalp to claim. Such a difference maker sometimes for these Envy rounds. But now Red got. Can he do something too? What's up? Mom's just like, wait, what the hell is going on? Chronicle's there as well. Waiting for that combination to come through. And I mean, FNS is deep in this. And he's been great at threading the needle. But gets revealed. They now know this position that's come in. And... Chronicle is going to be forced to handle it. He does. And now that's two huge picks and hu two huge problems presented for Envy. Marv's in no man's land. He's got a player right, player left. Can't find a clean fight and he loses it. Chronicle. The beast through the vents is now Victor and Crash. He's left in pieces. And that's a whiff and a half from Defo, but he does have his buddies by his side. He's got Chronicle nearby. Crashies, do you have some magic for us here? Because you're going to need a pin. And maybe, maybe, just maybe he does. But one more. Shados breaks the heart! Support in the middle now as well. There's the ult coming in too, so that's quite interesting. Could be a different dynamic in a 1-1 trade out. Yeah, he's going to find the pick towards top of middle. There's Nats though, still back of the side, still being a problem. They still need more though for Envy in this. They need a bit more damage. Shados, he's living on borrowed time, but yay! Now gets challenged down. Shados wins against FNS and Envy fall like flies! Gambit have made it to 10. This is now on the... They can clear him back. But they won't be able to take that space straight away. They're going to push on through and Chronicle catches. Just arms wide open. Yeah, absolutely. Yay, yeah, come on. Members. 30 Gambit left. here to hold this down. Coming in. There it is. It starts with Shadows, oh. but the trade out is great. Envy still fighting with everything they have here. 20 seconds and a spike plant coming in. They have heaven control for now. This is good. This is the biggest chance they have. They just have to hold this. Chronicle, first one forward, gonna be trying to clear towards FNS. HP favorable towards FNS, and as is the angle and the shot. Good work there, but Defo now wants to have a go, and he's. Did he just tag him on that too? I think if. Talked about the economy, they can just hold here. Uh, again, if everyone dies, it's a big bonus. Standing. FNS will find Great one. Work. Good guy in position, though. He's gonna punish. That's one. Nice. Yeah, they're in trouble now. Money-wise, Redguard's gonna just make That's it hurt. Huge. That is huge economy damage, even in the. Defo's found FNS, that's a problem. That's the pressure now removed from A. 25 seconds and they got to now lean back towards B, but Redgar's still here. He still knows what's going on. There's still Nats at the back of the site. Envy, come on, you've got to make this happen. Chronicle, he walks through and destroys Envy. Three back-to-back -back frags, and it might be four in a second. He's on the chopping block. Gambit of... Match point. Map point, series point, championship point here. Look at this now. Two Spectres, a Frenzy, a Sheriff, Defo now. We'll find the opener, Victor Falls. Four players with the fate of Envy in their hands. Crashies, FNS, Yay, and Mobbed. Work they in, way in through the vents. Chronicle, the man who just destroyed them in the prior round, is just around this corner for the time. Timing, oh my god, what? no! Yeah, he's made a meal of it! It's all going to pieces! No way! In eight. the final moments, has just shone so brightly there, blinded by the lights! 